Hey guys, welcome back. It's uh, part 12 of X4 Foundations. Um, what it, what I ended up doing, if you see here, here's the Elite Vanguard, here's my Discoverer. Um, I wanted, I, I, since I've got the ships, I'm supposed to rescue this Boron. I'm, I, I, I kind of want to try out how the wing commands and stuff like that works how's that how that works out but I also want to um, I want to see because this Vanguard is an interceptor so it's supposed to be a you know bigger fighter than the discoverer but just by looking at the motto it looked like this only had one gun versus two guns on the discoverer so what I want to do is I want to equip all of our ships here I mean, assuming that the Elite is better, because it should be better, I'm going to um, use that as my command ship and have both Discoverers as my wingmen. Uh, wingmen. So, let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Successfully um, Alright, so, upgrade ship this is my command discoverer the main thing is my weapons now why are those red what's uh hold on a second I got a map. This is Talati Company. Oh, this is not a. That says men. Oh, that's Ministry of Finance. Oh, not Talati Company. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Okay. Uh. Well, let's. Uh, this one is Talati. Okay. I'm going to fly to this equipment dock because I don't have the reputation with the Ministry of Finance like I do with the Talati company. Gosh. Okay, guys. Well, I'll be back. Okay, guys. Um... Oh, no! Did not want to do that. Um, there's my ships. They're docked over there. And I'm docking over here. So now we're in the Talati equipment dock, not the Ministry of Finance. All right, so pleased to welcome you aboard. Um, we'll have to decide on a better balance of fire rate and um, power. Beam emitter seven thousand. Uh, bolt repeater 2400 500 4147 shard battery um Max rate of heat buildup, 153 megawatts. 1400. Uh, 30. Okay, that's the max rate. Okay, that makes sense. I see how fast it... Okay. It's not, a, it's not a max of how much heat it can withstand it's how quickly it's building up the heat I see so that plasma that's 1409 and we know how fast that was that's 30 it's 153 shard battery um I'm looking at all this stuff, like weapon output, because obviously it's higher the number, the more powerful it is, than the 
rate of fire, how quickly I'm getting them off. Um, that's what she said. Uh, max rate of fire, the heat buildup, that's how quickly I can overheat. But the projectile range, that's the thing that was killing me on that plasma cannon. The smaller, fight, the smaller faster fighters, I couldn't... They would be gone before my ammo got there. Um, don't like the bolt repeater. Beam emitter could be something. But that shard... We got 240 and 174. And that's, you know, less than half. Um, but 7,000 meters per second, and that is half. However, that rate of, that uh, projectile, I'm trying to think, what gun did I start with? I think it was the pulse laser is what I started with. That's the one that, that's the one that I started, yeah, that was the one I started with. And that projectile speed was 41. I think I want to try this shard battery. Yeah. That, that range is only 2 meters, though. No, that's, that sucks. That's the downfall of this one. Okay. Well, maybe I should just go with pulse lasers. That was the default gun that I started with anyway, and it seemed to work out. I didn't notice any, you know, um, I, I could hit stuff. I could hit stuff. That, that, was, that was the main thing. So I'll go with pulse lasers. Let me just try these pulse lasers again. Um, so get out of here. Uh, let me go with pulse lasers. MK2. And pulse laser K2. Um, I think all this stuff is maxed on the, on this ship here. Let's check. Travel. Oh wait, that's right. I forgot about that. You know what? Let's do combat engines. Combat engines. Yeah, I should do combat. Combat MK3s. Let me get with that stuff. So as you see, my travel speed and my yaw is not as good, but my pitch and roll and all my sub-travel speeds are, are better. So, yeah, let's go with those. The shield generator, MK3. I got both pulse. Got all the software. This one I've got consumables on there. The crew. I've got this. Yeah, I've got the crew. Alright, so these changes are going to cost 486000 That is fine. I have the shopping list. And. All right, so now um, I think I go with property here. Let me go discover and let me go with it's not redesign, discover, upgrade, repair. Okay. So now with this ship, all right, good. All right, so this Discoverer. Let's go with the Combat MK3s. Um, combat MK3. Yeah. Shield MK3. The best software. I don't know if I'll need that, but I mean, for 11,000 miles, we'll just do it. Consumables. I 
Uh, it's got its flares. That's all I need. Uh, crew. Yeah, let's get let's get some crew on this sucker. Good, good, good. So the did I do? I I just want to check the these things. Yeah, okay. No, I didn't do the weapons. Pulse, laser, MK2. Pulse laser, MK2. There we go. Yeah, software. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so that's going to cost five and a half thousand. Five hundred, five. 550,000, half a million, whatever. Um, so yeah, let's go with that. And the Elite Vanguard. Um, upgrade. Um, Alright, so now this is the ship. I'm probably going to take over. Combat MK3s. Combat. Shield K3. Uh, Pulse laser K2. See, there's only one. There's only one gun. There's only one turret. Discoverers have two turrets. I don't know, that's interesting. I don't know why. Oh well. Um, that one. It's got all that stuff. Suitables. Um, I'm actually going to. I can have 50. When I have a flare, I still haven't even used those. I don't even know what button activates that. Um, don't want mines. Resource probes, I'll just go with five. Now beacon, I'll just go with five. No, not thirty-five. Go with five. Um, and then s satellites. I've got five million. I don't want to start with advanced satellites yet. As far as I can tell, like with X3, advanced satellites had that other mode when, w that you needed for when you build stations. You don't need that in X4. Uh, so the only benefit that I know of between advanced satellites and satellites is that advanced satellites is like double the range. However, I mean, that may be more convenient, but it is 5,000 versus 108,000 per satellite. So it can double the radius but even if I put four regular satellites you know that's 20,000 versus 108,000 so I don't I'm probably missing something as far as the I mean you don't have to drop as many satellites um, but I'm probably missing another function that that has but anyways just for now I'm just going to do this so let me go with I've got mines too huh. I don't know I'll just keep those on there too alright satellites um, crew um, you can only have two crews single discover so I I mean it's only got one turret though I, 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 I got to be missing something I don't know. I'm going to get into it and fly it and see. Um, so, Vanguard, 474,000. Go ahead and add and confirm. Alright, so, what I want to do, though, uh, you know what? I'm going to have to Well, 
I'm gonna try out this this uh, Vanguard here. So what I want, I'm gonna undock. All right. So let me go out here a little bit. All right. So now let me see if I can property. Vanguard. Transfer where's the ball? Follow. I can tell it to follow, or if I go to information, I can do protect ship. Ship to protect is this one. So now it will protect me as a default. I don't want you to dock. Alright, and this one. Behavior. Protect. Me. Confirm. All right. Anyways, I'll uh, I'll get my guys grouped up here, and then um, we're going to the next thing to do. Though, while that guy's doing this, is I need to escape plan. Details to follow: a fast combat ship is preferable. So this one, investigate unknown station. So that's going to have to go all the way down here. I see. Sacred Relic. Alright guys, well, uh, I want to break here and make sure my ships are doing the right stuff and following me down to here. And we are going to rescue a Boron. Hey guys, uh, this Xenon is starting to cause some trouble, so... Might as well go ahead and see how my guys react, what what and how we fight and how this ship goes too. But man, this Xenon's pretty fast. Oh, here we go. Oh, there, there, there we go. Four kilometers. I think this is a that's a decent size fighter. It's the one that looks like the bug. I do not feel so taking hits. I'm gonna kill this sucker. Oh shoot. Ah! It's dead. Yeah, I'm on. Okay. And there was no loot. No loot. I see. There's only one gun on this fighter, though. Um. So let me. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Information. Yep. Good. Information. Hall shields. Good. All right. Good. All right. They they were doing what they were supposed to be doing. It was a xenon. P. All right. Anyways, I just wanted to show that real quick. Test out the the rookie pilots because they have no pilot piloting skill. Let's see. 
Let's see if I can get that. There we go. Yeah, so maybe it did drop something. Good, good, good. Alright, so that discovers up there. This one's over there. Alright, I just wanted to show you that fight real quick. And, um, alright, I'll be back when uh, down there for the mission. So, I am uh, down here in Sacred Relic and uh, headed over here. Now, the, um, well, you kind of see my discoverers are falling, lagging behind a little bit, but um, they, the, the pilots have zero stars, so I figure. You know what? It will actually be interesting to see how much better they fly in formation um, when they have better stars. Like that guy's just hanging up there by the gate for some reason. Um, but what I did was is I uh, before I was kind of like just telling them in general to uh, protect me. Um, what I ended up doing is just putting them in my. Um, squad so they're wingman and so I do have protect shipped as their default behavior but uh, if I also should show you on that one um, but really the wing commands uh, if I do uh, the wing commands is really what I will be broadcasting to them uh, so we're here. I am headed over. Um, as soon as I entered this uh, sector, though, the boron came on and said, I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I hope it goes all according to plan. So I hope so, too. I'm sh still not really sure exactly what's going to happen. I just uh, know I'm supposed to come here and bust them out. So... Um, and one thing too is, I was. Find the plan. Please take a look. Okay. Um, one thing too is, you know, because on your spacesuit you got a handgun and you can have a bomb launcher. And I know there's sabotage. As you can see, I wish to escape the station via a chartered freighter. There are actually multiple ships involved, as to confound anyone wishing to track me. I would like you to protect any ship which should get into trouble. Okay, so I gotta protect all ships now, or what? There we go. Okay. Um. So, uh, anyways, though, I wonder because you know you have Marines boarding and stuff, and I wonder if you can actually do stuff inside inside stations and ships as far as attacking or anything like that. So right now it looks like I'm supposed to protect this guy. So I'll target him. You know what? One thing I did forget to look at is match speed. What is the match target speed is shift X. Okay. That's what I needed to know. That's what I needed to know. Um, but anyways, I wonder if you can fight like on ships and stations. I don't know. I don't know. There's a. It, from what I hear, anyways, there's a lot of this X4 that not only feels like X3 but expands deeper on where X3 was in ways that we wanted X Rebirth to do it, but they just really didn't have time rebuilding a whole new deal, but um, but this is a cool, cool game. This is uh, what I've been waiting for for a long, long time. Long, long time. So, um, So, I'm escorting this ship. So, I wonder if something's going to happen.
But I think once we break out this boron and get him to the station, we'll probably be able to start like researching and doing things with the station or with our uh, headquarters, which is exciting. Exciting. Okay. So now. So now the freighter. What? Why is it? Oh. So you're matching speed and it locks. That's interesting. And then you press shift X, uh, press uh, shift X again to unlock. Match speed. That's Identify good. criminal vessels. That's good because, like in X3, you had to keep hitting the match speed button in order to match at that speed at that second. Uh, but you had to keep on pressing it. This way, you can just lock it. That's nice. Uh, that is a lot better. Good job, EagleSoft. Good job. So now the boron's getting on there. Please wait for the ship to conclude its business. It will launch shortly. Okay. Excuse me while I take care of my business. This is a uh, Paranid space. So you can tell the station modules are all different. It's got that rounded paranid look. All Please right. protect this ship from any harm. While it is a decoy, I would rather no harm comes to the crew. Well, let's protect the freighter. Now we'll get some enemies at some point here. So if you if you see my speed and you see uh, his speed, because I got that match speed on, they will adjust, which is so nice. That is so nice. Just makes it so much easier. See how it's following? That's nice. Very nice. So you don't have to give the follow command. I have command. successfully aboard my transport and on route to the installation. Where is the boron? I will check security logs. Oh, that didn't take long at all. It seems my disappearance has been noticed. I expect my ship is at a safe distance. I can't say the same for the others. Please be alert. I will order our ships to intercept targets. You will join them while I investigate further. Yes, brother. All right, so... Um, let me check the map here. What am I looking at? I don't even see... I don't see anything else. I'll do no such thing. Then prepare to die. Uh-oh. This is it. I think this is it. This is where they start. All right, let's go. I've successfully done. I will begin my work. This oh, structure yeah. is far more impressive in person than I expected. Once the ships are oh, safe, wow. please join me. Once the ships are safe, please join me. Brother, the Boron is not on board that ship. Return to base. Acknowledged. You will Here we regret go. crossing us. Here we go. Here we go. Let's do this. There is no point in continuing. What? And then he's running off? Really? Okay, 
Okay, so now he's talking stuff again. Now he's headed towards us again. That's funny. I don't, I don't want to get too far from that freighter, though. I'm actually... So that's why I'm doing these circles. I'm letting him come to me. And then he will... Pay the price. Here we go. Three kilometers. Three kilometers. Here we go. You made a grave error. I've also got my wingman, you see my wingman shoot? I mean, his hull's getting low. This ship's only got one gun. Stop this. There we go. I don't know if I... No, I, I, I didn't get it. Oh, wow. Okay. You're safe. Okay. Good to go. Thanks for your help. Alliance of the Word. It still says escort ship. The ship's not moving. Comms channel open. Goodbye. Oh, don't tell me this is a bug. Where where am I supposed to go? That's I'm supposed to going on here move it move it move it oh this really sucks if this is a bug I almost want to just ram it try to push it try to do the hammerhead the heck this sucks this really sucks are you kidding me I'm not missing anything am I I mean oh my gosh on so it's got crew it says it's flying command wait why is it waiting what is it waiting for oh my gosh escort ship out of sector yeah can I tell it to follow me or something? Probably can't. Show mission. 
You cannot order a ship that you do not control. Oh, I don't want you to wait. I want you to go. Oh, this is frustrating. Alright, I want to try to see if I can Google something and I'll be back. Okay, guys. Um, well, thank you, UZ86. And everyone who contributed to the solution to this or the workaround. Um, basically, you just fly to your base. Ignore the ship. Just ignore the ship. And just fly, because that's where the ship was going with the boron or whatever. So, or that's where the boron was going. He was in a different ship, maybe, but whatever. Um, so let's just uh, fly back and I will be back when I get to the uh, HQ okay guys um, well uh, when I got uh, back in uh, Grand Exchange um, the boron said when you land enter the elevator so it looks like uh, that's the workaround. You just fly to your headquarters. Even though it said escort ship out of the sector. Um, I don't know. They need to. They need, they need to have more direction that you just supposed to fly back now. You know. I can see where they could consider where the ship was out of the sector. It was out of danger anyway. Um, so they may have thought that, you know, people would know. Alright, well, let's uh, head over here. And Oh, come on. Come on. I think it's eight kilometers. Docking Quest granted. dock. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All right, let's get up. Oh, I forgot my exit's on the side on this one. Look at the miner. Drone's still going around. Um, so, let me save it first here. Always save. Always save. See, on the missions, it still says escort ship out of sector. I mean, it's still on there. To sh I don't know. They gotta fix that. I know Eaglesoft said that it was going to be a um, 1.5 patch before Christmas, and then it was going to be a 2.0 probably in January. Science Laboratory. Here we go. I do like they have a different skin for the walls for your headquarters. That's cool. It, I like to look at this. I don't know why it kind of gave me a Star Wars feel. It's not really Star Wars, but I don't know if it's this. I don't know. That's cool. Aha! At last, we meet face to face. So that's a boron. That is cool. That is really cool. Huh. And this is my dock. There's my ship over there. Huh. Sweet. That's cool they got boron in the game. Because I know people are wondering when they're going to bring the boron back. 
That's cool. This installation is equipped for habitation of all races, and this room seems to be some sort of research area. I expect I could spend years poring over the data contained in these systems. Is there anything I can help you yes, with? Yes, I have already made some progress. There appears to be several things we can research at this facility. Please take a look. Access research menu. Here we go. I don't know about that water effect when you look at it at an angle. It's a little... Like, when you look straight on, it looks good, but... Uh... <laughs> I don't know, Eaglesoft. I know you've probably never done water this way before, but... Uh, I don't know about all that. Um... So, there must be a research. Research. As you can see, there is much to do. I personally find mention of this teleportation irresistible. But I leave it up to you to decide what we research first. Please note that these research items have certain requirements. Well, I'm definitely doing transportation or teleportation first. Doc module hack. Let's see. It appears some Terran technology was being used to research teleportation over long distances. So it is a ter Terran station, of course. All right, let me. Um, I just wanted his audio to be more central. This will allow you to gain blueprints by scanning leaks on certain modules. Okay. Um, it appears some Terran technology was being used to research teleportation over long distances. Still storage mod module blueprints, production module blueprints, and dock module blueprints. This will allow you to craft standard equipment modifications. Allows for crafting the basic chases. Mods, chases mods for ships. This there was the mods. Engine mods. All right, so there and then the show mods and weapon mods. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. It appears some Terran technology I'm definitely doing, is being used uh, to be very good. I will let you know when I am done. Ten minutes. That's not that long. Increase the range of the personal teleporter from within one system to within three. That's also two minutes. So I'll do that one next. Three to five, ten minutes. I'll do that one. Increases the range of the personal teleporter so that you can jump to ships you own across the entire gate network. Well, crap. You know I'm going to have to get up there. I'm definitely, re I'm just researching those first. That's, I'm, I'm just researching that first. Um, since the mission says research any technology, I'll uh, be back when uh, this is almost over. It's a pin. Okay, guys. Well, I mean, there's about 30 seconds left. So I just want to see what he says because it's part of the mission, um, and just get make sure I get that on video here because I know he's going to say something. But uh, the way the boron look, it's that's kind of cool. Like you always, because the next three, you know, you always saw their heads, but you never really saw them. I like the the animations too. He kind of like flips, you know, does the flips in the water. He also crosses tentacles. I guess they're not really arms. Kind of, kind of like you would cross your arms, like he's waiting. It's kind of, yeah, it's Fort Eagle Soft. It's good. Okay, I'm not saying it's the best animations or anything, but for Eagle Soft, it's good. Except for the Wata. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, it looks good here, like I said, but not so much there. 
Come on. Is that technology researched? I have finished the teleportation research. I am yet to test it on a life form. Given that I am monitoring your life signs anyway, perhaps you could do the honors. Okay, so I'm supposed to teleport somewhere. I guess. Um, let's see here. No? Tilati Trade Guild. There's mis these are missions provided by the Tilati Trade Guild that I'm a part of now. He said he wanted me to do the honors, but uh, very good. I will let you know when I am done. Okay, so he'll just talk when I start when it starts and finishes. Okay. But how do you teleport? All right. Well, uh, let me see how this works. I know there's one in here. So use transporter room. I can only transport port to where I'm at. Where where are my ships at? So why can't I transport to those that ship? Teleport. Oh look. Teleport two. Ooh. So it did let me tell. That's cool. That's cool. Um, my property let me teleport back to my ship. All right, nice. Cool. Well, we are rolling now. We are rolling. Let's see here, where's my, where are, where are my ships? I don't know, but anyways. All right, guys. So we're start we're 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 moving along. You're pro progressing along here, and um, yeah. So I'll, now, what's nice is really this research. I mean, ten minutes, ten, twenty, thirty. So thirty minutes, I can have the teleportation already researched. And these, this will allow you to gain these all by these are all are ten minutes. This will allow you to construct much improved equipment modifications. So, so if I go, um, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's one hour. One, two, three, four, five. Two hours. One, two, three, four, five. Three hours. So like almost three and a half hours. Three hours, twenty minutes, whatever. You can have all this researched. It's not bad. I mean. When you play an X game, you play an X game for dozens, if not hundreds, of hours. You know, so when you're talking about three, three and a half hours, it's not that long. Cool. All right. So, uh, anyways, guys. Um, so now, let's see here. What uh, what's going on next? Um, I do have. Uh, let's see here. No, nope, not that. I want this. Um, I do have 6.7 million in cash. Um, I already upgraded my fighter ships there. So I think I'm going to continue to add to the mining fleet. Um, right now... Not that. Now I gotta get used to the uh, new placements of these things. Um, 
I've got these four guys that they've been making me the money and they are in Grand Exchange 1. I think... Oh, oh, that's a gas right there. Actually, I need... I forgot all about gas miners. I need, I need to try to get some gas mi miners going too. There's gas here. Maybe I'll get a gas miner next. For there. Just... I wonder what type of gas that is. Can't do guidance. It doesn't really tell me. But um, if I get a gas miner, I'm going to have a gas miner there, and then I'm going to have, you know, same same setup for you know one of each of the um, asteroid miners in here, and it looks like I'll have a gas one here too. And same thing here, and it looks like I'll have a gas one here too. So I'm basically going to have five miners, one of each thing. Unless there's more more than one type of gas there too, there could be. But I want to have at least one miner mining each type of of resource in each one of these is what I want to work to. And so I'm going to start uh, doing that. And, uh, anyways, guys, that's this, and uh, we are rolling, and thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Hey, guys, real quick, uh, I was looking at the amount of money I had, and I was wondering how much, you know, a bigger size combat ship would be, because I've got, uh, my reputation with Gelati Company now is 15. So I can buy a frigate. I can't buy a large fight, uh, combat ship. Because those are considered capital ships. I don't have a capital ship military license yet. But I do have enough reputation for a medium frigate. You can see there's the uh, bridge. Um, definitely has more... Well, more turrets, more everything. Um... <laughs> But uh, fully loading it up here, it's actually just under four million. Um, I've got uh, two medium travel engines. I've got the all-around thrusters. I've got uh, three of the MK2 shield generators. I've got two pulse lasers MK2. I got four beam turrets. I I want to see how the beams work. Uh, because they're pretty expensive, so but they're a beam, so it's like almost instantaneous. So it's not like it's the plasma where it's powerful and slow. It, these are actually weak, but at the same time, if they're continuous, I don't know. I just want to try them out. I can, you know, I'm going to try all this stuff out. But I got four of the uh, turrets, and there was only MK1s available. Got all the best software. I uh, This one can hold drones, so I got eight defense drones and nine repair drones. Um, I may really just want to go all defense. I was really tempted to go all defense. But, I, I like, being in, with X. You know, experiencing X rebirth, especially like before they updated stuff, like when those capital ships that you would want to board or you know take over, if they were, if the engines were blown or whatever, like it was too, too damaged, you needed to repair it before it can even move. And I'm not, I'm not saying that that's going to be in X4. Hopefully, they learn from that. But until I know. I'm thinking about just having a few of those anyway. Uh, nav beacon satellites, resource probes, and I got two countermeasures. 15 crewmen. I actually got five Marines and uh, 10 service crewmen. And I was thinking about just having the service crewmen, but because I'm not going to necessarily use this ship to board other ships. But I'm not sure, because with the AI. I don't know if they're going to try to board you sometimes because 
I'm, I, I, I just don't see that happening. But at the same time, too, the uh, races are dynamic, meaning they're trying to... Um, they basically, uh, you know, the ones that are at war, um, they can take control of sectors somehow. So, and and with the animations on the ship and stuff, and with you, you have to have a handgun in a, you know, like for your spacesuit. I'm just wondering if there are if, if the times that you have to defend your ship. So. I got Marines just in case, um, but anyways, that's what I was, I was just started, I was just curious to see what it was, but since I already had it laid out, and it technically is doable, um, I wanted to just kind of show it, uh, on, on, you know, show it to you guys real quick, and I'm just add it to the end of this, uh, part 12, and it's very tempting, because this will be my new command ship. But I really need to get those miners going because the more miners I get going, the quicker my income, um, well, the more my income is per same amount of time. So the rate of income is, is more higher. So I really need to get those miners first. But I was curious. So technically I could, I could get this frigate. Like I said, it's so very tempting. It's so very tempting. But, again, smart thing. Get your economic base going before start buying military. So, uh, anyways, I just wanted to show that because I'll probably be getting that sometime soon. Alright, guys. Now, uh, for real, uh, again, thanks for watching, like always. And I appreciate you guys who... Um, you know, give feedback, thumbs up, comments, um, uh, even the thumbs down. Um, I, I know, uh, you know, I think I made a mistake in one of the videos, and there's a couple thumbs down, which I understand. Um, but uh, it just, uh, I'm, I'm just glad somebody's watching it, to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, kind of makes it worthwhile. Because instead of just playing the game the way I want to play it, I'm actually playing it recording it as I play it and when I get done with the part I stop playing it because I got to edit the video and I want to post that for you guys so um, I do appreciate feedback just knowing that uh, you know people are watching it and it's worth it so um, hopefully you guys like it uh, but anyways I do appreciate the feedback and you guys take care see you next time